Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm not on a bike today, but it feels like I'm in a tour series or something because driving up the motorway this morning has been quite hectic, I'm gonna say. People getting chopped left, right, center, uh, fighting for position, you know, in the average speed zones. So uh, yeah, been trying to stay away from the carnage. On the way up to, well, on my way to a uh, warm weather training camp. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. But first and foremost, thank you very much to everyone who watched the video last week. I actually had some great feedback from that video from people getting in touch. Uh, after I was talking about my struggles with injury, other people are obviously going through similar or maybe worse injuries. Um, and I, I kind of got the opportunity to chat to a few people give a little bit of advice, take a little bit of advice as well. And yeah, just kind of talk about it really. I mean, if I can help someone in, in any small way, then I'm more than happy to do so. And I'm really quite happy and pleased that the video last week was able to do that. So yeah, I mean, I'm always open to, to people messaging if they, if they are struggling with injury or anything else and, you know, just want to want to talk about it, then I'm always open to, to chatting to you guys. I mean, I'm sure some of you know me, some of you don't, but um, yeah, I'm always happy to help where I can. As I say, on the way up the motorway this morning to uh, a small little place called Haysham in the northwest of England. That's one of the ferry ports for traveling to the Isle of Man, which is uh, where I'm off to. So I decided to head back to the Isle of Man a little bit early prior to Christmas. It's actually gonna be the first Christmas I spend on the Isle of Man for almost four years now, so I'm really looking forward to, to spending some time with family and friends there, maybe even treating myself to uh, a few drinks and way too much food, but that's the usual Christmas, isn't it? So yeah, looking forward to heading back there. Just thought I'd bring you guys along for the travel day, see what it's like to travel across the Irish Sea. I don't do it as often anymore, unfortunately. I mean, everything's been running pretty smoothly so far. I've left plenty of time. You never know with these travel days, and especially uh, with the weather we've been having. But I left quite early just to make sure I definitely wasn't late, because uh, I have been guilty of that before, having to ring up and say, can you wait for us? It used to be quite a common theme, actually, when we were younger. Uh, we used to do the junior races and finish it around three o'clock, get straight in the car, and try and make the evening ferry. So uh, it wouldn't be the first time we'd be late for the ferry, but. Fingers crossed, not today. Oh, don't think you can park there, sir. I know a lot of people prefer to fly back to the island, but for me, especially with usually my bike in the back and a lot of luggage, I find it much more convenient to take the ferry either way. I also feel like it's a more stress-free experience and especially on the crossing, you get to kind of enjoy it a little bit more. And there's something quite special about looking out the front window, especially when the island kind of emerges from the horizon. And uh, yeah, we'll try and show you a bit of that today. We're almost there now, so I'm gonna stop rambling on. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the crossing. I'll try and show you the best bits, views of the island, views when we're out at sea. And then we've got a few things lined up when we get back on the island as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more about that. But for now, I'm just gonna get checked in and then I'll see you on board. there we go just checked in nice quick easy process as you can see scan a QR code on your phone see if you're one of the lucky ones to get through security without a check um, and if you are then you just wait a short time get on board and then enjoy the crossing really
there we go, welcome back to Isle of Man. It was a beautiful day for a crossing yesterday. I caught as much as I could really because I had a few bits of work to do. I was also in a bit of a quiet lounge, so I wasn't going to start chatting to a camera. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed some of the best bits there. Although the weather isn't quite as nice today, as you can probably see, it's a little bit murky. But it is warmer than the UK. Tropical five degrees here today. Uh, although there's a bit more wind, but yeah, I'm not going to complain too much. So I'm back out on the bike today. As I said, technically a warm weather training camp. As you already know, I think it's a fantastic place for training and also I'm kind of up in my rehab as well. So I'm going to be in the gym a lot this week and also in with Kate Stobart at the rehab lab. Again, all sorts of treatments, uh, which I'll bring you along for as well. So I think we've got some acupuncture lined up. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've had acupuncture, but yeah, I mean, anything that's going to help the knee at this point is uh, definitely worth doing. So I'll bring you along to that later on. Today, I'm just going to get out, enjoy the bike ride. It's a little bit windy, but um, yeah, it's just nice to be back on the Manx lanes, really. So a nice steady couple of hours in the legs this morning. Quick walk of this little fella. And then I'm gonna head up to Douglas for my physio appointment this afternoon. So stay tuned for that. So there we go, just been in to see Kate there. Fantastic as always, got some acupuncture. It's definitely uh, helping the injury. I've got, got everything assessed now and um, progressing well. So yeah, more miles on the bike, maybe a little bit more treatment. I think that's how my days are gonna be for uh, the foreseeable future anyway. But yeah, thank you to Kate and I'll uh, pop her website below as well. So if you're ever on the Isle of Man or if you're local, pop down and see Kate, just moving into a new place as well up on Prospect Hill. So hopefully we'll show you that on the video soon too. But yeah, anything from sports massage, general physio, acupuncture, Kate is the one to see. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Have a great Christmas. So I probably won't see you till after Christmas. And yeah, I think the next thing on the agenda is the world famous Christmas hamper race. So uh, going to head out there. Not sure exactly what day it is, but we'll be there. Big hitters are set to be there. So uh, yeah, we'll head out there and I hope you enjoy that. And if you don't want to miss it, like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.